Hi, my name is Matt Carroll with World Class Coaching and with the help of Academy Sports Coach 2022. Uh, I want to talk about you, talk to you about a session that I designed um, with the help of a book uh, that's available on the website called 30 Transition Rod, uh, Rondos by Luca Bertolini. Um, transition Rondos, I think, are probably one of my favorite, I don't know why, or just my favorite um, sessions to run. Um, I have two drills that are really special to me. Kind of one of those drills you're like, oh, I could always kind of fit this in. Um, I really like it, kind of how it plays with it. I, our, our players aren't comfortable with this drill, but we can't just do it every single day. Um, and But sometimes we do. Sometimes we do, and we'll take it out a day or two here. Uh, but uh, a drill we call Cinco, um, which is a 5v5, the transition to a 5v3 back and forth. Um, something, I, you know, if I want to do shooting, I add a goal to it. If I want to do possession, I, you know, we're, we're trying to um, up the ante of what are the repercussions. You know, the ball goes out of your grid, you don't get to play. Um, so we can teach possession out of it, um, but you're implementing the, the core facet of the game, which is the transition. So whoever wins the transition games, you know, you have 10, 15 shots in goal, but there are no good ones, and someone steals the ball in the box and scores a tap in. Hey, you won the ball in a better transition posi uh, position. So um, this really is the fundamental concept of the game. So you can teach different concepts around it um, while making the focus that transition moment, um, or what I like to call the light switch moment, you know, the – the light switch is on and okay, we're on offense. Now we're on defense. Now we're on defense. We won the ball. Okay. Now can I get forward and attack? Um, so what I would do here is Rondo to Rondo would maybe be a good start where you've got, you've got a Rondo over here and I want to make it. So there is a high chance of a turnover. So I'm going to have three yellow players in this grid. And they're going to defend the ball over here. And then we'll have a yellow number of yellow players over here set up. Should only have four there. Four, two players in black over here as well. So the ball starts over here. All right. Uh, black is trying to keep possession. Yellow wins. They're looking to transition quickly. Uh, so it's a 4v2 on the other side. These guys should spread out, create space, open things up. Balls played forward. Now we can play a 4v2 on this side um, with black being the um, the transition players. So just getting that basic concept of ball movement, what happens, okay, if you lose the ball, um, we quickly transition to an attacking position. And just getting the basic concepts. This is where I really focus on the how you want to get the ball forward and how you want to look on transition. Okay, talk about compactness on the defense. Uh, maybe we want to drop one guy. Uh, we want to press with one guy and drop three guys, other guys back to cut off the lanes. Maybe we want to go all out and quickly um, get in there and press defensively. That, that's an option. Attacking wise, um, I like the concept of as soon as you win the ball, you are the number one enemy. So they're going to try to get at you as quickly as possible. So I like to find an outlet pass that is either back or, or forward if you can, if there's that much space. But generally, it's win the ball. So this guy wins the ball here. He's immediately under pressure. Uh, this guy drops into space as an over, as an um, outlet pass, bang, and we can go back and through and go forward. So whatever kind of tactical um, situations you want to focus on and what your team wants to look like in both transition modes, um, you can really discuss and get into the nitty-gritty of it here. All right. Um, this one, I don't know if it always fits. Again, this is one where we don't do it a lot. Um, it's a little complicated. It takes a while to learn. Um, it's it's it, creates sometimes some rifts in the team when people get a little upset about some of the mistakes that are made. Um, but I really, really enjoy it um, just because of the antics that come out of it. Um, and, and there's a lot of, it's, it's a fun game kind of gets away from um, the general uh, flow of a normal practice. Uh, so if you don't want to do that, definitely cut this out. Um, but usually have a couple more guys here, um, but show you the, the spacing here. So black has the ball. They're possessing it in a Rondo. Uh, these players are, um, uh, what's it called? They're going to try to win the ball. So they win the ball. As soon as they win the ball, this player doesn't go in the middle. All four player of these of these players need to press. And this is again taking whatever defensive situation you want to look at. Does he uh, press? He's the cover, and they all back off the cutoff passing lanes. Does he lay off? Cut the passing lanes off, and we go one man press. Uh, we pick up this guy. Uh, do we drop off and man mark these guys behind us? Um, what do we do? Okay, how do how do we defend in that transition moment. Uh, so this guy doesn't go in. It's whoever gets the ball next. Okay, so if you don't do your job and cover your passing lane, or if you, um, if your friend is doing his job and you're not, and you leave that passing lane over before you get split, um, 
it, it kind of screws them over. Um, so it's got some colorful names uh, that have been created by some of my teams, uh, my older teams. But so this guy wins the ball. Okay. This guy goes out to the end. This guy now is in the middle. This guy is in the Rondo circle and it transitions like that. So it punishes those um, passing lanes. If you lose the ball and um, you don't do what you need to do defensively, they're going to break your line. They're going to get the ball forward. And now you're the guy that has to go in the pot uh, for the Rondo. So again, not, you know, everyone's cup of tea, but I really, really do enjoy it. And uh, the players generally do as well. Uh, now to the drill that we generally, you know, it's so simple, um, but I just use it constantly. I use all different levels. I've created different stipulations, like an overlap uh, Cinco, where you have a player that specifically stands in the middle as a neutral and overlaps for it. Um, but just really simple game that I think is just a Swiss Army knife um, where your toolkit is the 5v5, is a 5v3. Um, called Cinco, just because it's so many fives in it. Um, that was one of the names the players came up with. Uh, kind of just stuck. So 5v3 in here. And then you have two players over here in this grid. So it's a 5v5, uh, really, you know, you have five players in here, but this side is a 5v3. So black is trying to maintain possession. You can create stipulations, uh, how many passes you need to keep. Um, how many times you split uh, two defenders, um, whatever, you know, outcome you're really looking for here. Um, every time you get a big switch, you're able to go coast to coast in the field, whatever it is. Um, black is playing around. Yellow is trying to win the ball. It's 5v3, so there should be high rate of transition. This player uh, tries to split a pass. It's intercepted. Okay. And, again, this is where I like to go back to that one of the first drills we did, uh, but it's a little bit on a larger scale. Uh, does this player immediately try to go forward, um, knowing that this player is going to close him down, this player is going to close him down? Uh, does it, do we try to go forward on the dribble um, in our team? Do we try to find the outlet pass, right? Pass back and through. Do we try to find an outlet pass and find an overlap? Do we try to find wide areas immediately? You know, what does that transition moment look for us? And just back and back and forth and back and back and forth. Um, high, you know, high rate of intensity at a goal if you need to. Hey, if you were able to complete 10 passes um, or if you're able to transition quickly, um, you can score a goal off of it if you can complete three passes um, in your box. So we find a player wide, find a split. Uh, through ball and find a finish. Um, so you can get as creative as you want with it, but I think it's just a really, really fantastic bread and butter drill um, that you can kind of put into whatever session, but really specifically focus on that transition moment. Um, clear this one out and then we'll go uh, trying to transition within the tactical elements of the game. We'll go with a goal here. I can never figure out which one this is. Goal here and we'll go to on this side for the defending team to over here and then for the attacking team will go basically a four man midfield and one here here uh, so four players basically in a rondo situation uh two players in this box where they're trying to maintain possession okay um, where the points will come from and where they make this different than just a simple um, rondo and we make it a transitional rondo is the players can play a pass to the one player in here. It's 2v1, so the numerical disadvantage, they're, they're man-marking them, they're, they're dull, to dull in whatever they need to do. To score a point, Black needs to get the ball into this grid, to the, uh, black players, uh, the black uh, player Black's uh, feet right here, and then one of the players – from this grid then can transition and make it a 2v2. If that's a little too difficult, maybe make it a 3v2. But that concept of, okay, we want the ball, let's play forward, and let's get numbers forward and play off of this guy. Um, so now we make it 2v2. Black wins this game if they score a goal. Um, maybe make it just a shot on goal if we uh, don't lose possession, whatever it may be. Um, yellow scores a point by intercepting it in either grid. Okay, maybe we double the points to make it a little bit more so that Black wants to keep ball, possession of the ball in here um, as long as possible because they want to find the exact right situation to overlap. Um, maybe it's you want to go as lightning fast as possible. Can we do this with pace? Can we catch them off guard? And um, you, you, you do it that way. Again, it's kind of whatever flavor you're looking for out of your transition moments. Uh, and then I would just take them from there into a uh, maybe – Small sided scrimmage, or maybe, you know, if you're looking for a little bit more transition moments, uh, make it bigger so you're trying to get more of the natural game and just play a full side 11 11 or 7 7 or 9 9 or wherever you're at. Um, definitely um, 
two different ways of kind of attacking that at the end, but getting it so that you're seeing as uh, those transition moments and you're able to identify, yes, in that transition moment, you were able to play back, um, found the outlet pass, go forward. Awesome. And in the transition moment, we immediately went forward and played very direct. I love that. That's going to help us counterattack. That's what I saw in the session. Great. And you can kind of assess your session from there. Um, so definitely, you know, I, I, I talk glowingly of the Senko. Um, so if you kind of drill that, you know, it's like, oh, I'm not really, you know, setting the world on fire here, but I, uh, I just, I love it. And I just feel like it's a Swiss army knife. I can use it in every session. If you got something like that, definitely leave it in the comments for us. And I also in the comments, I'll leave, um, the link to purchase the book 30 transition rondos by Luca Bertolini. Um, so again, with uh, world-class coaching and the help of Academy sports coach 2022, I'm Matt Carroll, and I hope this session finds you well.